Today's hospital oversight hearing was called by Health Care Committee Chair Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. in light of a report released by the OPA into the agency's finances in fiscal 2013. The audit report emphasized, quote, GMH has incurred recurring losses and negative cash flow from operations that raise substantial doubt about its ability to continue as a going concern. The audit of the hospital's finances described expenditures steadily increasing in the last five years while revenues declined. Auditors also noted how operating losses since 2009 jumped from $6 million to $34 million in fiscal year 2013. The public auditor also talked about the hospital's $235 million patient receivables, of which she said $210 million was determined to be collectible. I remember when I first saw this, I said, to, I said you know, you're flatlined. <laughs> You're flatlined. It's amazing that you're su surviving. Their problem is every, every two weeks looking for enough money to make payroll. Joe Verga describes the lawmakers' unexpected and unfunded circumstances that have contributed to the hospital's financial quandary, but he also outlined the hard work he and his team have been working on to improve finances. He cited an example of progress made on reconstructing information that the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid claim have been missing to complete its assessment of whether it will recognize the hospital's request to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services for an increase of Medicare reimbursement. For more than a decade, GMH has been requesting exceptions to the Tax Equity and Fiscal Responsibility Act rate based on actual cost of service. GMH has been paying significantly more to treat Medicare patients, losing millions each year due to low reimbursement rates. We have put together an entire application. I just recently signed the application and the application is now on CMS's desk in Washington. I have personally spoken to the Secretary Burwell at HHS, who said to me that she was impressed by what we put together and has invited me to Washington to actually meet with her. And she said personally that she, she, she was intent on helping us. And I think that this was so, such a positive step forward. I am very, very optimistic that we are going to get this rebase. As for other initiatives, GMH hopes that by the end of August they will sign off on a contract with a collections agency. Once finalized, self-pay patients will have a month to clear their debt with GMH. The hospital is also looking to outsource its billing, coding and collections for all commercial and government accounts. GMH is also in negotiations and hoping to finalize a contract with insurance companies by August, proposing an increase. Berger continued to push his implement a customs user fee which Senator Aline Yamashita encouraged him to explore and engage in discussions with the local agency. Verga estimates this will result in $20 million in new revenue each year. Um, the advent of urgent care um, and then a real serious investment in prevention.